Hello, sports fans. Welcome to Got Next Gaming and another episode of the Connected New York Jets franchise here on Madden 17. We are getting ready to get into week number six here for the New York Jets. And we've been on a little bit of a run here right now with this team as we have won a couple of games and looking pretty impressive against some pretty tough opponents. Uh, you can see that we're going to be going against the Arizona Cardinals, who are 4-1, and one, as we are 3-2 and two right now. But before that, we're going to take a look at some of the contracts that we have to sign. And we're going to actually attempt to re-sign Deion Bailey here, as we've made him an offer already. And we're going to try to fix that offer a little bit to see if he will bite at it. And he does like the offer, so he's going to stick with us here. Good depth for our bench there as a second player to fall back on from Calvin Pryor, who's been pretty solid for us as well. But now we're going to get ready to jump into some game action here. And again, it's another tough opponent. And it's on the road here going against Arizona as they're 4-1. And, and we're going against Carlson Palmer here. we got to see what this is going to look like for us. 85 to our 79. I'm hoping that we can get a little lightning in a bottle here as we've been on a little bit of a tear. You can see our defense is ranked second, but their offense is ranked first. So we got to see what we can do here, and hopefully we can hold off this number one offense with our number two defense is going to be the story of this game as we get in there. And we see the players getting ready and getting themselves fired up for week number six in the NFL. And there is Bruce Arians with his Arizona Cardinals trying to get his team all fired up and his players all fired up. And Bowles doing the same on his sideline as well, getting his guys ready to go as he talks to Matt Forte. And that's going to be the key to the game here is getting Matt Forte going as that running game has been a little bit tough. You can see Fitzpatrick here in the fantasy world of Madden is kind of doing the same thing he's doing in real life with those interceptions. So just get the ball first here. and We're going to hand it off to Matt Forte who runs over one guy and then finally gets dragged down by a couple of Cardinal defenders there. But he does pick himself up eight yards there on his first carry of the game. And hopefully we can stick to that theme as we'll hand it off to him again. And he just... Gets just past that first down marker to get the first down. About three yards on the play there. We definitely need him to be a driving force for us so we can kind of play it conservatively and keep that clock going and everything else. But Fitzpatrick's going to throw here. He is going to hit Decker on that cross route on the second down and 11 to get himself down to the 46 for a third down and one. And here we are now lined up. And we're not going to run on this one. We're going to look to throw. And we do hit our tight end, but he drops the ball as he is hit. And it will be incomplete. And we do have to punt it away. Probably should have tried to hand it off to Forte. Like I said, that would be the key to the game. But I felt like they were keying in on runs. So we had to go with the pass. Here's Carson Palmer. He's having himself a pretty decent season here with 1,600 yards and a 70% completion ratio. He will drop back the throw on his first play. And he hits his tight end, Grisham for a nice gain to start things off here about five yards on that one it was a crossing route there we'll take a look at the cardinal offensive line along with their running backs and wide receivers to see what they look like and uh yeah they got some pretty solid looking players there on offense and we can see why they're a number one ranked offense here comes Wilkerson who's coming in and does not quite get there in time as palma gets the ball off to brown for a first down moving the chains there and we're going to see what we're going to be up against next here with a third down and one on the 40 of the Arizona Cardinals. Palmer from the shotgun looks to throw. Hits his man, but it is knocked loose as he tries to make the catch. Looks like Darrell Rivas got in there on that one to stop them here on their drive. And this is what we need out of this defense against this number one offense. So let's take a look at the replay. Palmer throws, hits his man. But yep, that was Rivas who's got his hand in there and knocked it away to end the drive. Second down and three here for the Jets. We'll give it off to Forte, who tries to make the first down, runs into his own man, and the defender knocks the ball loose. It's going to be called a fumble, and it's going to be Arizona's ball here. We are going to have to take a look and see what happens with this, as it didn't look like it was a real fumble. Looks like the that the ground caused the fumble. Can't see it from that angle there. I did try to challenge the play. Didn't give him the opportunity to challenge it. But there was a booth review, so we're going to take a look and see what the officials saw from the booth from different angles. Hopefully, this will go in our favor here. As you see, Forte is down, and then the ball comes loose there. So that should be an easy overturn 
for the officials to make there. Yep, looks like it's good from there too. And they do give the Jets the ball with a third down and one here from their own 28. Let's see if we can't get this one past the yard marker. And we do, and we pick up a few extra yards as well. Pulling it down to the 33-yard line, and we get that first down. Second down and five here. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun looks to throw. Hits Jason Morrow on the out route. Nice catch there as he gets the first down and moves the chains down to the 47-yard line. Here's a third down and eight. Fitzpatrick looking to throw. Hits Jason Morrow again. Tries to fight to get that first down, but does not quite make it. And it will bring up a fourth down and three from the Arizona 40. And they're looking pretty fired up as they are pretty thrilled with themselves on that stop there. And we're going to have to go for the field goal. It's a 57-yarder here for Nick Folk. Can he make this one? Does he have the leg to do it? The ball is up. Looks like it has the distance. And, yes, it's through the uprights for the three points. Field goal for the New York Jets here as we take the early lead, 3 to nothing, And we are already into the second quarter now. And that is going to be a good momentum builder here for the New York Jets. So here the Cardinals take over on a second down and seven. Looking to throw. He has plenty of time, but he is sacked in the backfield as Gilchrist and Richardson get in there to converge together. We will definitely catch a replay on that one. As you see, Gilchrist comes around from the blind side, and he did not have a chance of seeing him at all. He gets in there and gets him as Richardson gets in there as well to finally bring him down for the sack. Nice play there to drive him back a little bit as the two teammates work together to get them down there. So third down and 13 here from their own 22 Palmer from the shotgun looking to throw. Wilkerson's coming, but trips, and he throws the ball away as he was under pressure to force the fourth down. Now the Jets take over, and Fitzpatrick goes to work, but he throws an interception, and as it is another interception there on our side of the field as well, and they're going to get great field position here from the Jet 36-yard line after that terrible throw by Fitzpatrick into coverage, and we're going to see what they do here. With their opportunity as they have a man in motion. They're going to hand it off to Ellington who's wide open there. And there's nobody to stop him as he had a big huge hole. And Revis tries to come over to stop him before the touchdown. But it's no use. And Arizona gets in there with a 36 yard touchdown run from Ellington. To get them on the board here with a 7-3 to three lead now. As you see Revis got in there just at the last second. But it was not enough. So the Jets will take over here. Second down and eight on their own 23. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun hands off to Forte who cannot get going there. And he is stopped for a one-yard gain. Bring up a third down and seven now. And let's see what the Jets can do with this from the shotgun. Fitzpatrick looking to throw over the middle. Hits Forte there. If we can't make him run, we could definitely make him catch. And he got that one over the middle for the first down, moving the chains. And that was much needed to keep the drive alive here. Third down and three. Fitzpatrick looking to throw again. He throws and hits his man. Does he hold on to the ball? And no, he does not. He drops the ball there as he's hit when he tried to get possession of it. Fourth down and three, and the Jets are going to be forced to punt here with a little over two minutes left to play in the half, and that's a ball that you have to have. He should have caught that one. He was worried about getting hit, and that's exactly what happened. It got the ball jarred loose. So third down and five here. We're going to hit Palmer again with that safety blitz as Gilchrist comes in and gets his Second sack of the game. Actually, it's a sack and a half because he only got half a credit for the last one. But he gets in there again and gets him from the blind side as we see the replay. And there's just no stopping him there. And it's kind of what we need out of him to hold this team down. And we still have a chance here with them doing this. They're going to try to go for the field goal with 15 seconds left. The kick is up. And it's a terrible kick. And it does not quite make it. Not enough leg there. And the score will remain 7-3. As we get ready to go into halftime here. And that's going to do it. We'll see the halftime score is 7-3. to three, And we're going to come back out and see what we can do here with this. So, half is over. Let's see if we can see what some of those stats look like. 7-3 to three is your score right now. The Cardinals are in the lead. But we are looking pretty good against this number one ranked offense. And they do kind of lead us a little bit there in the stats for offense. But that's to be expected out of the number one guys here, right? So they do get the ball in the second half to start things off. Second down and 10 here from their own 22. They throw, they hit Brown, and he is off to the races. And there is not going to be a single person that's going to catch him or even come close. As he beat the man on the route. 
and just takes off for a 70 yard touchdown pass to start things off here in the half and that's not what we wanted to see completely outplayed there i think i called an all an all blitz on that one and they just got us on the coverage there gilchrist was not going to catch a guy of this speed whatsoever to stop the play or even break it up in that where he just had the out route and he ran a great route on that one we'll catch the pylon cam as well as he goes in there you see a guy 10 yards behind him running it after him second down and four here fitzpatrick gets the ball gets it to his man amaro as the jets take over here from their uh own 30 there and you get it down to uh amaro like i said for the 16 or 17 yard catch and the first down down to the cardinals 46 yard line we're going to throw and fitzpatrick throws another interception as he throws it into traffic and it was intended for i believe decker and it just did not get in there and it's the second interception of the game so here we are again with the Cardinals taking over after a turnover. And they hit their man on the third down and 10, but it's not quite enough for the first down. As Pryor gets there and stops the play. Jets take over. Second down and three. We are behind, so we have to throw and have to abandon that run game. We get that pass out to Amaro, who makes the catch. Gets the first down and moves it down to the 49-yard line. That's six catches for 77 yards for Jason Morrow. In this version of things, he is quite the tight end for us. And we would be lost without him if you ask me so here we go now we're going to hand it off to forte but like think it's too little too late as he only has 37 yards on the day so far for 11 carries never quite got that running game going and it would have been super important for us to do so it would have been much much better if we could have gotten that run game going but here's fitzpatrick on his second down and seven completes that pass to forte at least he's catching the ball first out of the backfield does move the chains get it down to the arizona 40 for a first down Fitzpatrick again looking to throw hits his man Marshall on the cross route he had to go back and get it makes an acrobatic play right there we will definitely catch the replay on that one as it is worth another look thank goodness for players like Marshall of his caliber the superstar here goes and gets that ball where nobody should have gotten it second down and three here from the 33 Fitzpatrick throws and hits Marshall again on the out route there as he had the route in the zone, found the soft spot, gets the first down and down to about the nine-yard line. Second down and two here. Fitzpatrick throws, hits his man for the first down, gets it down to about the five or four-yard line there, giving us the first and goal. Can we punch it in, folks? This is where it's going to be important. We've got to get the touchdown here. The field goal, settling for a field goal is not going to be acceptable at all. We definitely need the touchdown if we want to stay in this game here. It's going to be super, super important for us to do that. So, Fitzpatrick's going to look to throw. Gets the slant route to Marshall going into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Touchdown, Brandon Marshall. That's what we needed right there, folks. We're going to go and see that replay because Fitzpatrick takes a few steps back. Gets hit as he throws. Sacrifices his own body. But Marshall had the route on the inside of the defender there, the cornerback, and gets the touchdown. We are going to go for two points here because the extra point does us no good, but we're throwing into coverage there, and there was no chance for us to get that two-point conversion. So the score will stay at 14-9, to but we still do have a chance to get back into this game here. That is now a one-score game for us, or at least a one-touchdown game for us anyway as it stands right now. So Palmer will look to throw. He throws it way out there, and it's going to be an incomplete pass, bringing up a fourth down and four, and they're going to be forced to punt it back to us now with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. So the Jets get another chance here. And St. Patrick drops back to throw. The ball is knocked loose as he gets hit, and it's fumbled. And that was a third down, but there's not enough there as the offensive lineman picks it up, but it's still going to be a fourth down and seven. As you see, the defender gets in there. And hits him as he brings the arm back. So it's going to be a fumble. But at least the Jets are able to pick that one up. So with the fourth down and seven. Trying to keep things alive here. We're looking to throw. We throw it way deep downfield. There's a flag on the play. Decker goes up. Cannot quite get it. We're going to hope that the call is on the defense here. And that we can get the automatic first down. It's holding on the defense. Offense, I'm sorry. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and 17. And we have no choice but to punt it away here. And you can see third down and goal with under four minutes to play. Arizona's down on the six here. There's a flag on the play. They throw it into the end zone for the touchdown. And that kind of puts the nail in the coffin here as this offense just came down 
the defense couldn't stop him this time around. There's going to be a flag on the play. And we can only hope this goes against the offense. And it is offensive holding, so it brings the ball back to the 15-yard line. They're going to hand it off to Ellington, who breaks around the outside. And you'd think with the speed of these defensive ends and uh, the decent speed of the linebackers that we'd be able to get him. But he gets right around the outside, gets it into the end zone for a touchdown. So all we did was was uh, delay the inevitable there. And they take a 21-9 to lead. So here's the Jets' chances now as they're looking to try to make a play. That ball gets batted away. And Buchanan comes away with the pick as it was batted down. And he just intercepts the pass. It's number three there. And the Arizona Cardinals do take that down for a field goal to bring it to 24-9. We can see the victory formation here as the Cardinals line up. And Palmer takes a knee to put an end to things here. We do have a timeout. But there is absolutely no point in wasting this one. Just let it go and let the clock run out. We'll try to come back next week to do a little bit better here. We get a devastating loss, 24-9. to I mean, we had to expect that this is the number one offense in the league. And we did the best we could here. The defense didn't play terribly. But with the turnovers that we had there with the three interceptions, put them in great field position at times. And they were able to capitalize on that. And they definitely showed their billing and proved that they are the number one offense out there as the Jets take the loss here to bring them back to 3-3 three and three and a 500 team. You can see Fitzpatrick there with four interceptions. Forte never got going with 45 yards on that. We got to get him the ball more. Spread it around pretty nicely, but not enough there as Jason Morrow was our leading, leading receiver there for that one. But we're going to try to come back next week. We have a pretty... Downtrodden Baltimore Ravens who are 2-4. and four. Hopefully we can turn things around here. Come on back for more Jet action next week in Week 7. Thanks for stopping by and checking this out with me. I'll see you around the channel. And goodbye now.